Hi again, guys. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, the last problem that we did. It was a, the last problem that we did. It was that funky shape that looked like a parabola, and then I calculated i sub x. Now I'm gonna do the same example, and I'm gonna do it uh, by calculating i y, and I'm going to solve the problem in two different ways. The I would say traditional way and the funky tricky little way, because that's that's so cool. You're gonna see that now, and you're gonna say, "What? Can I do that?" Of course you can do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be explaining it to you, right? So let's let's work that out and and let's see how how it goes from here. Okay. The shape that you were solving or that we were solving before it was this one, and before we calculated i sub y, i sub x. Now I'm gonna calculate i sub y and i sub y remember is the integral of x squared dA. Our problem, our objective usually is going to be finding this dA and I said from before if I'm going to measure x in this direction then I'm supposed to have my differential of area perpendicular to that one like that. That's my differential of area. So if this is x this is going to be dx and the distance from here to here, if you look closely, is determined by this line, that's a straight line over there, and this, uh, uh, and the shape of that uh, parabola that we have over there. This line and this line, and what is this line? I don't know, I need to know how much is y at that point because that line is gonna be uh, x equals something, I don't know. Uh, y equals something. Y equals something at that level. What is y equals something? I just have to put here the 100 millimeters that I have, and we did that in the other problem as you remember. And then I put those uh, 100 millimeters here, and I calculate my y for 100, and that's going to be 1 divided by 50 multiplied by 100 squared, which is going to give us y equal 200 millimeters. That's it basically. So this line is going to be y equal 200 millimeters. And I have this other y here which is defined by this equation. So my differential of area which is this band, my differential of area, is going to be this line minus the function 200 minus that function 1 divided by 50 x squared multiplied by this thickness which is dx. Remember this is like a rectangular band so area is just base times height. I have this one. Now I plug everything into here. Integral of x squared dA, which is the integral of x squared multiplied by this. And I solve for that. 200, I'm going to separate this into integrals. The way you solve this, I mean, you know, you know math better than I do. So you just say that i y is going to be equal, this is constant, I take it outside the integral, x squared dx minus, then I take this, 1 over 50 is constant also, 1 over 50, and uh, integral of x to the fourth dx, and that's basically what we have over there. Now I get the, I get the, to solve the integrals, and then i y is going to be equal to, 200 x to the third divided by 3 minus 1 over 50 x to the four 4 plus 1 5 divided by 5 x to the 5 or x to the fifth divided by 5 and this is going to be evaluated between that's one of the things remember I, I always repeat this in every single video because I want you to just be aware and be all the time a uh, conscient uh, of what you're gonna do here so basically we're sweeping this in this region. This is our differential of area. We're gonna start from this point and get you know from this point up to that point. That's our differential of area. That's what's gonna define our our differential of area. So this point here, because this is symmetric as you can see for the equation, this gonna here this point here is gonna be negative one hundred and this point here is going to be x equal 100, so those are going to be my limits, negative 100 to 100. And then we solve for this, i sub y equal, this is going to be 200 divided by 3, that multiplies this x to the third, which is going to be here, wait a second, 100 to the third minus this other here, minus 100 to the third, 
that's this part and then I have this minus here and this minus here 1 over 50 and then I have the, oh not 50, 50 times 5 is 250 and then this is going to be x to the fifth so it's going to be 100 to the fifth here minus minus 100 to the fifth close here and that's going to be equal to i sub y let the rows, trunks row calculator calculator 200 divided by 3 multiplied by well this is minus but this is going to be minus also so basically this is like multiplying minus times minus when I elevate it to the third it's going to be plus so it's going to be 2 times this basically I can do it like that if I want to uh, 2 times uh, 100 to the third close parenthesis minus minus this one and this one is going to be one the same thing happens here to the fifth this is odd so this is going to be also negative negative times negative is going to be positive two times this is like divided by 250 so minus 250 125 yeah 100 to the fifth divided by 125 and that is equal to 53,000 53, uh, 333, 53 million, I'm sorry, 333,333.33, so three periodic units, millimeters to the fourth. If you want to express this uh, in scientific notation, you can say that IY is equal to 53.3 3 times 10 to the sixth millimeters to the four. There you go. Method, I'm gonna call this method number one. Is that method working? Yes, it is working. It follows the same procedure I explained before. Yes, it follows the same procedure but that I explained before. Now, watch the next video for the method number two. Okay, see you in the next